ABC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, just back to do a recent finds video. Just kind of sharing some of the things that's come in since the last recent finds video. Uh, still been putting in a few hours here at the shop on the weekends and, uh, you know, pick up a few things here and there. And um, nothing crazy, but definitely some nice stuff, some things I'm very happy to have. And, you know, kind of a nice little variation of things as always. So I'll just kind of randomly grab into the stack and, and share. Let's kind of jump right in here. Um, we'll start off with this one here, which of course is 10,000 Maniacs, MTV Unplugged. You know, definitely one of the, the classic, classic unplugged um, kind of sessions here. You know, I've always kind of felt like between uh, the Alice in Chains, the Nirvana, and the 10,000 Maniacs, those are just kind of the three unplugs that I remember just being like so huge. So nice that they finally got this on vinyl. You know, Natalie Merchant's just amazing voice, uh, so unique and everything else. Um, but yeah, you know, songs like These Are the Days, Candy Everybody Wants, and, and of course the, the awesome version of Because the Night that they did on this. So nice that they finally got that back out on vinyl, which is really cool. Uh, what next? Here's another good one. Kind of nice to add to the collection, which is Depeche Mode. Uh, this is The Sounds of the Universe. And this is a really good one to get because this completes my uh, Depeche Mode uh, studio albums. So I have all their studio albums on vinyl now, which is, I think, kind of mandatory with a band as amazing as Depeche Mode. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's, you know, song for song from front to back, when you look at their catalog, it by far is not their best, you know, album or anything of that nature. But it's still good, and it's still Depeche Mode. I mean, they just, you know, just, just one of the coolest synth bands ever. So uh, nice to finally get that, get that finished, which is nice. Kind of goes with my, I guess you can't see it right there, but one of my homemade box sets back there, that little blue one kind of peeking out. That's my Depeche Mode box set. So it's nice to, to get that completed. Next tier, new tone po poet, which is Jackie McLean, and this is Let Freedom Ring. Uh, this, actually, this probably came out like what a month ago or something like that. But uh, yeah, really, really great album. Um, Again, I've, I've listened to it a couple of times. I I don't have all the songs down in my mind, but I think it was o Omega that... Anyway, I haven't completely, you know, memorized the entire album, but uh, yeah, definitely a fantastic listen, and of course, with all, like all the Tone Poets, sounds fantastic, so a great addition to the jazz collection there. Um, what else? Here's another good one. I can, oh, I guess it kind of came... Sleeve was kind of popping up there. Let me seal that back up. There we go. Uh, there was a number of Sepultura reissues that came out, and this is another one, uh, which is very nice because I, you know, I've had the CD of this for a while, but never had it on vinyl. Uh, this is their release from 2011, and um, yeah, I may not have their biggest hits on there and stuff like that, but still, just a very, very solid album, and glad to finally get that on vinyl, which is cool. Uh, what else? little kiss icon I had a friend of mine that grabbed this for me a long long time ago which never had a chance to touch base to to pick it up and i was able to grab it the other day but that's that walmart exclusive you know just kind of the kind of greatest hits you would expect to have on a kiss album so nice little single lp set there uh next year they did a reissue of a number of the Sade albums and the, the one that i didn't have was soldier of love I remember skipping this a number of times when it first came out, and I ended up regretting it. But, uh, yeah, this was Sade's release from 2010. And, again, much like I was saying about Depeche Mode, definitely not her best album from start to finish, but it still is a very, very solid Sade album. It's, it's her doing what she does so well. So that's definitely a nice addition to the collection as well, which completes all my Sade on vinyl. Uh, what else, what else, what else? How about a little... Soulfly. Uh, this is their release from from 2002, uh, dedicated to God. Um, you know, I guess what this was what some like members of like Sepultura when they split or kind of whatever. But uh, but yeah, you know, I've, of course I've seen Soulfly. You see those CDs around like all the time, and I've heard some of their stuff here and there, but just never really kind of caught on to it. And I was in a store like a few weeks ago, and um, and you know, a guy he brought his own copy in and he was playing this, 
And I was just, you know, we hear song after song, and I'm like, dude, who is that? And he's like, that's Soulfly. And I was like, man, I've never paid attention to that record, but just, you know, great, great, great stuff. Uh, you know, very much in that Seth Matura vein. So when I got to the shop the next week, I was kind of pleased. I was very happy to see that we had a copy in there, so I went ahead and grabbed it. So yeah, really cool 2 OP set. And again, that came out in 2002. Uh, what else can we get here? Some of this stuff has been sitting down here for a while, actually. Uh, War of Greatest Hits. Another fantastic one here. Um, you know, kind of a funk band, jam band, R&B band. It kind of it's like a little bit of everything. Just very, very musically creative. Uh, so on here you have stuff like, you know, Slipping into the Darkness, The World is a Ghetto, The Cisco Kid. Um, I mean, yeah, just a lot of great, like Why Can't We Be Friends, Lowrider. Great, great for a single LP, Greatest Hits. Just an awesome, awesome, you know, piece just to kind of sit back and listen to right there. I mean, w w War was just a, a really, really awesome jam band. Uh, Train. Save Me San Francisco. This came out again about a month or so ago. Uh, kind of just getting around to showing it and listening to it. Uh, but this was their, not quite as big as their other album, but uh, you know, this came out in 2010. And this had the hit Hey Soul Sister on there, which is, you know, kind of a cool, fun, poppy track. But uh, yeah, again, just nice that they got something like this on vinyl because between, this is probably my second favorite train album. So it's nice to have that. And where are we on time? Only six minutes. We can grab a few more things down here. Uh, what am I going to show? Let's see. There's a couple of these I haven't even listened to yet, so I didn't even want to dive into them. Uh, da, 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 da. How about this one? Cause this, I know this has been sitting down here for quite some time. Uh, the Best of Millie Vanilli. This was the 35th anniversary. Uh, and this, this, actually, this actually came out, I think, released in 2023. Um, and everything you would expect, you know, girl, you know it's true. Don't forget my number. Blame it on the rain. I'm going to miss you. All or nothing. Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and then also kind of like some single versions and things of that nature. And I'm one of those people, it's like, you know, the, the whole Milli Vanilli thing, I don't really care. You know, it's like, I thought those two dudes were like two of the coolest looking dudes and just two of the coolest dudes in pop music at the time. And as far as I'm concerned, you know, uh, they'll always be my boys. I, I, I love them to death. And shoot, with all of the freaking auto tunes and backing tracks and everything they use today, like it's it's more or less almost the same thing when you get down to it. But uh, but yeah, I'm a huge fan of Millie Vanilli. You know, Fab and Robert, like I said, just two of the coolest dudes ever, and I will love them to the end. All I know is they made my childhood happy and fun, and you know I forever thank them for that. And they're cool in my book. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Actually, here's, let's do these, these right here, then we'll call it a wrap. Because a few more tone poets, and these just came out this past week. Uh, this is Booker Little and Max Roach. Uh, and actually, I'm not familiar with this particular album. I mean, I, I, I do I do like Max. Uh, this came out, I think this was released in 1959. And uh, it was just one kind of, with the, a lot of these tone poets, when they come into the shop, I just automatically grab them. Because I've, I've yet to have one that I haven't liked. So I uh, can't really say much about this one yet because I haven't spun it yet. Just got this one this past weekend, but looking forward to that. And then you do have this legend right here. This one also came out this past week, which is Donald Byrd. Kofi here. This is released from 1970. And again, one of the Byrd albums I'm not as familiar with. So I'm actually going to give this a spin as soon as I'm done with this video. I'm looking forward to diving into those two. And another one that shows how old we're getting. Uh, Twisted Sister Stay Hungry, 40th Anniversary Edition. So this is a 2LP set on red vinyl. It's a Stay Hungry, which is one of my all-time favorite glam slash hard rock albums. Um, I mean, just song for song, back to back. Just one of those albums that totally defines my childhood. Um, and I guess the cool thing with this 40th Anniversary Edition, there's two bonus tracks, uh, Blasting Fast and Loud and Never Say Never. So there's two bonus tracks, and then there's also, with the second LP, it's basically a ton of live stuff. Uh, the Kids Are Back, I Want to Rock, Under the Blade, The Beast, The Price, Stay Hungry, Burn in Hell, SMF, and then another live version of I Want to Rock. So, uh, so yeah, definitely some extra goodies kind of added in there to an, an album that I've probably listened to a gazillion times already anyway. 
So uh, nice to, to have that 40th anniversary there as well. Although there's a piece of me that kind of wish they would have kept the original cover. I don't like when they change up the cover on anniversary things like this. I mean, I like I I want I want to see him kneeling down with the bone and just like I mean that's twisted sister stay hungry. But uh, yeah, happy to have that one as well. So anyway, there you go. VC. Actually, no, I'm gonna show two more things because these have been sitting here too, and I want to kind of get them put away. But I'm waiting to kind of show them uh, a couple of CDs that I picked up, which you have great white here. Uh, of course, that's the edited cover, like, you know, the one that actually kind of shows her out of the water hanging on the hook. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't have this on vinyl. It's, it's called Hooked. Uh, I don't have this on vinyl, but it's kind of nice to finally have the CD, and maybe one day I'll get my hands on the on the LP. And then a little Brian Adams, you know, one of those comps, just just has all of his, his you know, good stuff on there. So, again, that's just another CD that I picked up. thought I'd share it really quick. All right, well, thanks for watching, VC. Appreciate you guys, excuse me, appreciate you guys as always. Uh, let me know what you think, and we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, guys.